Welcome to Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show 2022. This show sees the launch of a new yacht from Pearl, collaboration between Bill Dixon, Naval Architecture, and Kelly Hoppen, Interior Design. This is the launch version, hull number one, of the Pearl 72. As we're on the bow, we'll start from the bow, we have this huge lounge area which can be configured in multiple ways. This table drops down. being filled with sun cushions. It's great, a large bow pad and a private space away from the world when you're moored stern too or at anchor. And flanking this beach club we have pop-up lights and of course this rather lovely Awning, secured in place with these carbon fiber poles. These are removed when you're running the boat, obviously because this will behave like a sail and fly away, but very sturdy, sits well in place and perfect for providing shaded area on the bow when you're at anchor or tied up. Port and starboard. We have these lockers, cushions, covers, lines. Nicely built in and hidden away, things like the waste outlets, water fill, they're all built into these bulwarks and look very clean in their design. Also, Pearl have adopted this oval section in their handrails, and down the sides, they're glazed so you don't get that unbroken view out of the side windows or it continues also the line as you can see at this flush glass so let's head off and what a fabulous half section this is so boarding you've got side boarding port and starboard boarding serious stern gear so you've got these oversized cleats these lovely stainless steel fair leads and of course Lamar electric winches and much like we saw on the bow they've used a similar arrangement where you can extend pull the support out and bring this table across to have a full dining area. Now this at the moment is a wet bar. I'm not gonna lift this up. Uh, Many don't want to upset their display, um, but you've got access to, at the moment, this is what they offer as standard, which is storage in a waste bin, but you can have a refrigerator in there. There's a sink under here. And as I mentioned, they've hidden all the inlets for the boat in the cappings so that is the fuel filler there we also have a helm station there's your side power thrusters there is an option for hydraulic thrusts on this boat also and of course throttles so accessed through this waterproof side door oh rather is the crew cabin. We can also access the engine room from here, so I'll take you through. Heading down into this air conditioned space, we have twin bunk with hanging storage, TV, you have a mini galley, washing fridge and of course you walk in shower a 
and then through to engineering. So we have these huge MTIs in here. Generators, port and starboard, cola, working munition. They're very clever, these generators. They'll run both at the same time if necessary. If the power requirement isn't needed, then one will automatically shut down to conserve fuel. All the electrical forward. There's your main breaker panel. There's battery charges. All ventilated. And there, of course, is your Seakeeper 18. Starting aft, you have this retractable awning. This is available in two different layouts. At the moment we have a sun pad uh, there is also an option for uh, a hot tub jacuzzi in this section and of course you've got your seating aft and again they've carried this glazing through so you don't lose the visibility off the stern when you're running to see the wake out back lounge out and enjoy the ocean and up top we have this wet bar you've got a grill sink under here they've also built in a huge ice box and you've got your refrigeration and your ice maker so moving forward another lounging area opposite the wet bar and a forward lounging area opposite the helm and what a lovely helm it is so you'll see more about this as we head below into the lower helm but essentially you've got your twin 16 inch garments uh, which run all the ship systems these of course are your engine controls and your autopilot um, thrusters as mentioned before so essentially we have three helm points on this yacht and nicely built in, lots of storage and cup holders. So let's head down and check out the accommodation on this yacht. Is of course the main saloon. And what a lovely place it is clearly influenced by Kelly Hoppen. We have a midships access uh, down to one of the staterooms, a four stateroom boat, what's considered two master staterooms. So we'll go down there in a minute and I'll show you what I mean. So what you see is what you get. This indulgence interior is exactly what you would get in your new yacht. So moving forward, we have this central galley, and I do like this arrangement because it's very sociable. We've got combi microwave and oven, induction hob, vented. These excellent corner units, full-size dishwasher, storage under here, with a trash, and dedicated storage for your crockery and cutlery all molded now moving forward you have this raised comfortable dining area bathed with light you have these screens pull back to flood it with natural light these can be specified as electric and forward you have this stairway which leads to the forward suite. So as I mentioned, two suites, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, it kind of makes sense if you're chartering this boat or if it's a two-owner boat, then no one's going to feel lost. And then up to this fabulous helm. And you've got a good mix here of analog switching and, of course, digital switching. So here we've got the Fusion sound system the various zones, cockpit, zone 3, zone 4, so flybridge, etc. These are your engine displays, throttles obviously, 
forward and rear thrusters. Uh, these are side power, these electric thrusters. You can specify hydraulic on this boat. And all built in with this lovely flowing pod look to it. Really nice helm. And of course these two high low very comfortable bolstered chairs so in equal measure both of the master suites are pretty much similar in their capacity size but this is the forward one accessed as i showed you down that forward companionway in the bow we have this fabulous full height stateroom and this is Kelly Hoppen's indulgent interior which is very lavish very comfortable has a very sort of New York loft feel about it with a lot of this gray wood black lacquer all the fixtures all the fittings that you see in here are from Kelly Hoppen's own collection so she's literally dressing the yacht for the owner ahead of time and moving aft this rather lovely all built in Corian sink and that carries on through into the shower to give it a really clean look course all this hidden LED lighting rebated into these high gloss Corian work surfaces. So heading down through the midship staircase takes you into what is the second suite. So as I mentioned four cabin boat, two suite boat. Again, lovely job by Kelly Hoppen. Follows that theme, we've got all this backlit lighting. Now this behind here, this mirror is actually a TV. So when switched on, it's not a mirror anymore, it's a flat screen TV. And nice sizable heads. Again, with this sort of lovely cool to the touch, almost slate looking Corian material, which follows into the shower. And you've got your in-floor waste for the shower and a rainfall ceiling shower along with a handheld. We have another double. Again, same standards. This interior by Kelly Hoppen, very elegant, very chic. And we have again one of these mirror TVs. And then moving aft, a twin guest cabin, lots of headroom in here, good seven feet, and a shared, essentially the day heads for the yacht. Again with ensuite, opening from both the companionway. And the cabin. We have this lovely, very, very heavy duty stern gear. These heavy stainless steel fair leads, Lamar electric winches, and onto the aft deck. The high low bathing platform, of course, necessary in the med, your passerelle, and of course, these hydraulic wings. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget hit like and subscribe.